So today we're going to be looking at some different variations on the Monsta. The Monsta is pretty much my most versatile performance shortboard design that's a easy, you know, don't have to think too hard every day, you're on it, ripping board. Real quick and easy, but lightning fast responsiveness, and that's what's so nice about the Monsta. You write it a little shorter than you know, a good wave shortboard or your travel shortboard, a bit wider and pretty much the same thickness, just the rails puffed up a little bit because if you're surfing less than 100% perfect, you know, draining spinning waves, you don't really need a knifey rail. You need something that's, you know, not like a big bulky rail, but like a moderate to fuller boxy rail that's going to push back, keep you going, banking off little stuff that normally might sink on the monsters like a little pinball machine board. It's always banking off and bouncing around and flying. Um, been doing this board for a long time and there's different variations of it for different waves where different people live or just different conditions. It's such a fun board. I keep the plan shape or the outline of the board and just change some rockers and hull contours. So we have a couple here. These two are actually duplicate of the same board and these are for Nick. They were uh, couple of magic boards. So we decided to take a look at these today. That's the Monster HD. And then over here we have our latest creation that has some new material that's just been released on the market. We're calling it Tectonaut because, I don't know, figure good opportunity to make up a new word. And so we'll be explaining that. That's the Jetstream Tectonaut over there. But let's start with the Monster HD. I've done a lot of different spin-offs of this board. It started with the Monster version 1, which was just a really flat, same outline, but just really flat, just an even single all the way through the board. That version 1 is an excellent board for small point break stuff. It's almost a little too flat for beach breaky kind of things or fast hollow breaking waves, but a board where you need just a lot of projection and drive and linkage that board works insane. So that's kind of the specialty for that version one. Don't do a ton of those, but for people in that category that want a board for small point stuff, it really revolutionizes the whole trip and it throws buckets too because it gets going so fast that when you do arc a wide transition that normally might be kind of a check turn, it turns it into like just a long bucket, which is fun and cool. And then we have the version two which is more rockery. That's been the most I make is that version. And the version two just has a lot more tail rocker in it, but still a low entry. And that's kind of the real progressive, you know, whippy tail out, flying all over the place, really responsive off the back foot, but still drivey and runny when you got mushy bits where you got to get on your front foot and, you know, kind of glide it through. And then there's the version 1.3, which is the ideal board for people that don't quite want to be doing blow tails and things like that, don't quite need the, the extreme tail rocker of the version 2, but don't want something as flat as the version 1. The 1 1.3 is right there in the middle and it's a three stage rocker. It has a flatter area between the feet and then nose and tail rocker. And that's a good board for just really easy going, quick speed, but responsive in turns but you don't have to overthink it. It's one of those boards you can just kind of stand up on and it goes. And then there's the version three where we put what is called the HD concave. So the back half of the board where the version two had a single, even single with inset doubles, which gives the board a wide open sweet spot and is just real runny. Um, the version three is for those guys or gals that want a board that has even more of a release and, and just spark off the tail. And for that, I run heavy concaves through the back half of that board. I just dug out the back half. So the rocker, it actually adds a little bit more rocker through the board in the back just because I've dug into the center rocker by putting more concave in there. So it puts more bend in the board. But the actual rail line stays pretty much the same as the version 2. And that gives you a board that's real whippy and releases. So if you want a board where I want to do more errors and I want to have a board that will release the tail good in the lip, the version three, like, is, that's your board. And then following those, we've had the HD, which was off just a board that was a surprise board, the Hideosilus, which is an ugly little small wave board that is so much fun and so drivey. I applied that rocker and bottom to a Monsta. And basically what that rocker is, 
is the nose and tail are flattened, so overall, you know, it doesn't have as much sweep out the ends, but I kept the center rocker the same. So you still got some bend between the feet, but the ends don't flip as much. So it's more like one constant curve, and you can see that here in this. With that constant curve that's overall flatter at the ends, what you get is in the middle of the board a ball bearing swivelly effect so when you get into the steep part of the wave it still gets that glide and that high and tight speed getting without the board getting hitchy but with the ends flatter it just gives more overall glide through dead spots so it's a good kind of average waves board i kind of compare the hd to a monster that's rather than like a surgeon's scalpel that's gonna be like a whippy kind of thing. It feels more like a mallet. Like when you swing the thing, it displaces water. And when it does punch into the lip, it releases almost like power airs. So that's the vibe under your feet that you're feeling with the Monster HD. And what's going on with the bottom that gives it a, a real hold, even though it's a flatter rocker, sometimes you know, traditionally it's been, okay, if you have a flatter rocker, lighten up on the concaves. And if you have a lot of concave, put a lot of rocker to compensate for that. But I kind of have a new theory and take on all that, where if you have the right center line rocker, if you have that curve, you can, you can tune in a curve to, even though where it's a flatter board, it will accept tons of concave. And what a lot of concave does is it creates an exceptional amount of lift, drive, and grip at the same time. So I've tuned up a flatter rocker, but I feel the water wraps across the bottom in such a way that you can get away with having a strategically placed really heavy concaves that gives the board exceptional grip and a more kind of power packed engine when you're going into parts on the wave where you want to be displacing water, you know, like a big cutty it will displace more water because your engine going into it has got more gusto. And so how I go about that is I just run an even single all the way through to about the fins. And then at the fins, I dig it out right at the fins real deep, even concave off the tail. And it, it creates like a vortex for the water to get channeled through the tail and it creates a lot of grip from your back foot driving through turns. And then to really add the juice, even inside that big dugout single, I run a soft, like Bonzer-esque blended double concave set into that. And so what that does is, even though the scoop is real deep all the way through, when you drop the Bonzer-esque doubles in through here, it almost tricks the water into thinking that this is a flatter area right in the rail that the fin rests on. And when the fin rests on an area that's not too scooped out, you risk when the board kind of suction cups to the face and sticks in little flat spots. By putting the bonzer in there, the fin, the water runs real free through the fins because it's constantly going downhill towards the center of the board off of the fins and keeping it from ever getting stuck in here. So you get this real constant flowing, driving, grippy beefed up engine feel when you push on the tail like a gas pedal so the thing gas pedals through turns and really funnels the water off the tail and creates like a power source so you can do real powerful turns but at the same time you can also do real powerful tail releasing errors that avoid that predictable sometimes i think with errors stuff get a little predictable it's like okay here they go here they go they're going to do an error here rather than whoa, what's coming, what are they gonna do? Big turn, or are they gonna go do an error, or what is it? This combination, what I've found is you get this real surprising unpredictability factor with this board that combines power with a traditional you know, rail arcing turns, but also you'll come into the wave with, with so much speed that it's almost like an aggressive speed that will release in the lip errors that are different than a predictable error that's intended to be an error, but almost like you could do a turn or an error in a part of the wave. And at the last second, you have that choice. And it turns it from just sort of like a standard stock error into a power gaff big bucket error, like a power bucket error, I guess you'd call it, which 
I've seen Nick do you know both of those scenarios on this board and it's really exciting it's a design that caters to you know easy speed with power and unpredictability that lets you choose at the last second not kind of be locked into okay the waves telling me I have to do this type of maneuver here but a board that says hey I'm gonna do what I want to do and I can do it with power so that's the HD and this one I like these because they have nice art I love America so this one's got America on it and then we got another one it's the same board but I just figured I'd have it in here because this is a cool one too it's a cathedral in Spain and then we did some fancy resin art color work with it and so this one we call the cathedral on to the newest latest thing I've been working on is this guy right here and this is a new kind of 